In this video, I'm going to explain the hexadecimal number system. And I think the best way to start off with in explaining the hexadecimal number system is to start looking, to start first with the base 10 number system, the decimal number system, because we're all quite familiar with it. And there are similarities in the way that the two number systems work. So let's start off with the decimal number 37,254 and just look at the components that make up this number. So first of all, we note that there are different places for the different numbers. And each one of these different places has a different weighting to it. And that weighting increases as you move from the right to the left. And each time you move one place over, the weighting increases by a factor of 10. And we start with the first column has a weighting of 10 to the 0. The second column has a weighting of 10 to the first power multiplied by 10. And then you multiply 10 to the first by 10 again, you get 10 to the second power, or 100. And then the fourth column over has a weighting of 10 to the third. And the fifth column in this case has a weighting of 10 to the fourth. Well, the fifth column in all cases has a weighting of 10 to the fourth, but in this case, the fifth column is just the last column. And then you take the value in each one of those columns and multiply it by the weighting of the column. So to break this particular number up, 37,254, the way that number is broken up, it's going to be 3 times 10 to the fourth plus 7 times 10 cubed plus 2 times 10 squared plus 5 times 10 to the first power, or 10, plus 4 times 10 to the 0 power, or 1. So we get 30,000 plus 7,000 plus 200 plus 50 plus 4 to give us the number 37,254. Now I've rewritten the number down here, again 37,254, but this time I'm making the assumption that this 37,254 is a base 16 number. So now instead of the place weightings having an increasing value of a factor of 10 each time I move over, the place weightings have an increasing factor of 16 each time I move from, from the right to the left. So the first column in this case will have a weighting of 16 to the 0 power. The second number over will have a, have a weighting of 16 to the first power. And then the third number will have a, power, a weighting of 16 squared. And then the fourth number will have a weighting of 16 cubed. And then the fifth number will have a weighting of 16 to the fourth power. Now the numbers are all the same. The numbers themselves are all the same. But they will be multiplied by a different weighting for each, for each one of these columns. So to figure out what value this, this new base 16 number has, we take the value in, in, the, in the particular place, in the particular column, multiply it by its weighting, and in this case it's 16 to the fourth power, instead of, instead of 10 to the fourth power as it was for this number when we were assuming that it was a base 10 number. And then we add the next number over, which is a 7, multiplied by the weighting for that particular column, which is 16 cubed, plus the next number, 2 times its weighting, 16 squared, plus the next number, 5, times its rating, 16 to the first power, plus the last number, 4, times its rating, 16 to the zero power. Now to figure out what this number is as a base, what, what, it's, what it's equal to if we were to convert it to a base 10 number, we just have to do this multiplying and, and add up all the numbers to, to figure out what the, num what the actual base 10 value is. So 3 times 16 to the fourth power is equal to 196,608 plus 7 times 16 to the third power is 28,672 plus 2 times 16 squared is 512 plus 5 times 16 to the first power is 80 plus 4 times 16 to the zero power is 4. Now adding all these up we get a value of 225,876. So it's interesting to note that these numbers look the same, but in this case it's a base 16 number, so as we move from the right to the left, the weighting of the number increases by a factor of 16, but in this case up here, the value is a base 10 number, so each time we move from from right to to left as we move move uh, from a rightmost column to the leftmost column we increase the weighting of the column by a factor of 10 now we need to add one more level of weirdness to the base 16 numbers to make it truly a base 16 number in base 10 numbers we have we're allowed the numbers from 
0 up to 9, or the ciphers from 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's part of what makes it a base 10 number. If for a base 16 number, we need to have 16 different ciphers to represent 16 different values. So we can have the values from 0 to 9, those are the first 10, just like in a base 10 number, and that's why I can write out a base 16 number that looks the exact same, thing, same as a base 10 number. But now I need six more ciphers to represent the rest of the numbers. And it, it could, they can be any arbitrary six, six other ciphers, but what we use are the letters A to F. And there's no real standard of whether they're capital or lowercase, but it's just the, the letters A to F. So we have 16 different ciphers to represent the, the different numbers. So to wrap things up, let's do a, one last conversion from a hexadecimal number. Let's do a number that's a combination of the letter forms and the, the more recognizable number forms. So FA1 to D is the hexadecimal or base 16 number that I want to convert into decimal form. So let's look at the place weightings of each one of these numbers. So this one, the first one, D, is of course 16 to the 0 power. The next one over, multiply by 16, give us 16 to the first power weighting, and then 16 squared weighting, and then a 16 cubed weighting, and then a 16 to the fourth weighting. So this is going to then be F times 16 to the fourth, but F is equal to 15 plus A times 16 cubed plus 1 times 16 squared plus 2 times 16 to the first power plus D. So going back again to, to be able to calculate all this out in the standard form that we're used to, in the decimal form that we're used to, we have to recognize that the F is equal to 15, the A is equal to 10, and the D is equal to 13. So if we multiply all this out, we will get F, or 15 times 16 to the fourth, is 983,040, plus A times 16 cubed, or 10 times 16 cubed, is 40,960, plus 1 times 16 squared, which is 256, plus 2 times 16 to the first is 32, plus 13, which is equal to 1,024,000. 301 in base 10. So FA12D base 16 is equal to 1,024,301 base 10. So I hope you learned something in this video and I'll see you in the next one.